I don't mean to belabor the point, but I'm going to belabor the point. It, from the outside, from out here, it just seems like J.K. Dobbins is a very dynamic back who averaged eight yards per carry last week when he did get the ball. And regardless of how a defense is playing you and what happens in the read game, from out here it just seems like it's two straight weeks. How can that guy who's that good not get more carries, bottom line? Is that, and going forward out here, it seems like he's got to get more carries. However it happens, that guy has to get more carries going forward. Does that make sense, or is your what's your response to that? Is it just that it's not that simple, or is can it be that simple? A dynamic tailback like that must get the ball more. Well, he's got to get it, but you know, your quarterback's been hot, your receiver's been good. You know, we just did not execute ourselves, so we'll we'll sit there and slam that back in there, and they'll have those twelve guys with butcher knives up in there this week, and we'll get third and eight real quick, and they'll tee off with their nickel package and pin their ears back. So I mean, yeah, we got to get him the ball. Yeah, but. Um, I guess it's just play calling. And so you can look at it again when you call the plays and call the rhythm in the game where it gets taken out of his hand, you look at me, and um, we're not trying to. Uh, I can say there were, I think again, because I, I, I knew I'd get uh, asked about it, there were 30 running calls in the game plan that were called and forward design quarterback runs. So that being said, okay, do we go to 12 package and put big tight ends, but we like that speed and that spread stuff. So again, when you spread it out, you get into a, either the run pass option or the read option. Uh, we'll fight hard to get him going. Uh, he's been great, um, and going forward, yeah, we we got we got to get him ta uh, carries. Got to. That little, but but that, we're not, but I don't, I don't think we can force it either. Uh, can't be stubborn about it. But I mean, he's a special player. He's a special kid. We're not trying to take the air out of his ball, and we'll work hard to keep, you know to find it. And that being said, too, um, the guy's going to distribute the ball in certain plays, and I'm going to call certain plays. And Coach Meyer's going to call certain plays, and we get going in the game plan. So. You know, we're, we're trying to score as much as fast, but we did not Saturday. That, as always, like going back to that other game, wasn't good. That falls on me. And I, I got to own that. I take that, responsibility for that. Sorry, last question. That little toss play that you guys ran early in the game seemed to work pretty good dividends, but I don't know if that's counter to what you guys are doing with the zone read or not, a, a way to get around what they're doing. Is that Yeah, so then we did, when, we, when we did it in the third quarter, the end got up the field and forced our quarterback to keep it. And when he bounced it, our left guard got called for a holding penalty, and it was first yeah. and 20. It's the same play. Okay. But they made their adjustment by just widening the end. So, you know, very good. <laughs> so, right. Thanks, Kevin. I appreciate Thanks, it. Kevin. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Kevin.